back to the channel, guys. I am just about to go and play some basketball. I need to get a workout in. And then I need a haircut. I usually go to one of my close friends. His name is Kevin. But he's all the way in LA and I'm in OC now. So I'm gonna try one of my... My co-worker's husband is a barber. And he just cuts around the corner. So I just give it a shot. I am so sorry, Kevin. I know, I know. I, I hate cheating on you, but... I really don't want to drive to LA <laughs> and I really need a haircut. Look at this. I'm looking like the 2000s Justin Bieber, you know? God. My workout and now we're gonna go get a haircut. I'm so sorry, Kevin. I'm so sorry. I know you watch these videos. I am so sorry. <laughs> no way. Okay, hold up. to go get a haircut. This is a before. Oh my god, it is awful. And then, let's see what I look after. Let's go. The thing that I kind of dislike about driving manual, and it might just be me because I'm a newer manual driver. I've only been driving manual for about a year. It's the, the way that switching shoes affects how you drive. And that's not like something I ever really considered before buying this car but it is so annoying sometimes because when I go to work I wear these really thick shoes <laughs> um, where it makes me really hard to feel out the clutch but on days where like I'm just chilling I, I wear my NMDs and they barely have any sole in them and there's like you know there's not a lot of cushion so you can feel everything that the clutch does I always prefer those shoes when I drive, but when I go to work, I don't want to take another pair of shoes with me just to drive. You know, it's like, and this also happens when I go on rotations where I'm expected to wear professional clothing, and then I'm wearing dress shoes and I'm driving stick shift and dress shoes. Like, it's just an awful experience, but I think I might just need to like keep a pair of shoes just in the car and keep it in the back. something because I, I it's just like I can never get used to that that thick sole because like I just don't know where the bite point of the clutch is and I can't feel it but I don't know that might just be me being a new driver all right finally got a fresh cut and now since last week we went to Baco and it was so good I'm gonna go and get it for Nance again so Made it back home and the freaking cup holders they gave me were so trash. The drinks ended up spilling in the car a little bit, so we got the same as last time. She got the Ceylon and then I got my peach oolong. Spot around the corner that I've been wanting to uh, take photos at and I'm gonna go there right now. Camera, ready to go. Oh, gotta do the... <laughs> yep, still doing it. And it's a lot quieter, trust. I cannot wait to see what kind of shots we're gonna get today. Um, there's a lot of arches in the area, so I think we will get some pretty cool stuff. Fingers crossed. So my initial idea was to kind of use these arches as a way to kind of frame the car but it's not looking too good because if I show you here I was thinking maybe like coming through here doing this it's only an okay shot because there's so much stuff in the background let me just drive around and see what else is there yeah, honestly, this place is a bust. It is trash. There's not much here. Um, I'm trying to be as creative as I can, but yeah, not much. I don't know what to do. I just call it. 
also the parking lot of a church and I don't know it's giving me like weird eerie vibes and there's not like a single car here it looks kind of abandoned there's like a lot of dust on the windows doesn't look like it's been kept nicely and I don't know man it's it's just giving me weird vibes and the it's getting late now so I think I'm just gonna head back I'll just call it a bus like it's just a bad shoot I had some ideas but I don't think I don't know I, I don't think they look good so oh well thank god I didn't want to be lazy and went to go shoot because I was cleaning the car earlier because I just put a little bit of boba on the drive back and freaking I left the light on inside the car so good thing I went to check where else the battery would have died tomorrow I always say whenever you do need um, a nice spot to take photos, Shell is always the best. Look at the lighting, it's freaking crazy. Shell always has the best lighting, look at this. Uh, I hate this gas station because this one never works. Like all the freaking, like I have to prepaid this. I had to stop recording because I had to use two hands to hold down the freaking pump in order for the car to pump because this station's broken. Every single one of these stations are trash because they don't, none of the card readers work. So every time I come here, it's always a freaking nightmare. All right, time to go get dinner. Uh, I just got off work, so I'm gonna go get dinner for me and Nance. It is pretty late. Uh, I was supposed to get off at 8.30, but a bunch of my coworkers are getting sick, so I sent a little extra just to help out because we were short. I think two people today, which is pretty bad. Freaking in and out. So, finally got my food. Gonna head back home. We're gonna 